Hello guys, today we're going to be texturing this Pokeball um, using UVs to make a Moon Pokeball and we're gonna do this very easy um, just because um, UVs tend to be intimidating uh, even with this I was having a bit of problems here and there because of the curvature and a couple of things and the moon ball uses straight lines and curves and that made it obvious but we're gonna do our best and hopefully it will come up all right so okay if you have our pokeball that we model in our first video sorry if i'm picking uh speaking a bit fast is a bit late and while recording this as well i was in interrupted a few times throughout the night so I'm just looking forward to doing this quick and getting it uh, done. Yeah. So okay. So if you have our ball ready, um, first of all, select it, uh, hide the button, and let's take off the um, subdivision. Uh, go into your materials. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Go into your first material. Click select, click H to hide it. And instead of us using the same method for this one, I found out that when hiding this section, it also um, hide away um, this section as well, which we need. So we're gonna do Alt click uh, here. Uh, actually, no. I'll click here, 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 here. Uh, why? Because uh, when we add the subdivision, this actually moves up a bit. So we we want that. Okay, and then let's go here, here, and I'm doing a. Alt shift click. Okay. And oops. And um, here I'm just gonna do shift drag. Great. And press H. Uh, actually kind of did the same thing. So we want those actually. Um so um alt click here so it's causing um, somewhat of the same problem and yeah that should do it now hide it press H good this is what we wanted okay so we have let's click away we have our half speed sphere and go into UV, select the line, line select, and uh, just place uh, a mark seams here. Alt shift click, make sure that it's all the way good. All right, so next go um over here shift click control click shift click control click and same thing for this one so shift oops shift Okay, um, shift control, great, perfect. That is what we needed. So, UV, mark seam, and then we're, what we're gonna do next is select all. You can already see our UV, and then unwrapped. Awesome. Press somewhere within it. 
press L to select the whole island. This is called an island. And as you can see, um, the rest of our sphere is also being UV unwrapped, which is cannot see it here because it's hidden. And that is the way we like it for now. That's not going to cause any changes uh, later on because they have their own materials. So we don't care. So R90, rotate it, S to scale. And let's kill it here. That is great. Now do a go to UV, export UV layout. And this is what we're going to be recreating. So let's do it from scratch. Um, I clicked on it so that we have the same name. Go over here, times two. Yes, you could do math in Blender, times two. Click away, export. Go into your favorite software. It could be Photoshop, uh, GIMP. I'm using Affinity Designer. Okay. Our illus even Illustrator. Bring that in. And there we go. We have our UV unwrapped here. And we're going to be using this as a guide. Take a rectangle. Have it around halfway and let's make it into a teal yes yeah, so it's kind of a teal type and then duplicate it Arrange back. Actually, both of them should be towards the back. Good. And then this side, let's go here and let's reduce it almost all the way to black. I think this is a much better way than having it um, having it straight up black on this side. It's just more complementary. Okay. So next, uh, make a sphere in the center well, this is why it's good to have the guides because you can make a, you can make a sphere right in the center okay and again we are having everything don't let it pass this line right here because then it's gonna get really distorted we might even have that a bit smaller. So around there, we can change it later on. Make this yellow. Okay, yeah, kind of like that. All right. Make a copy of your uh, X sphere. Uh, or a circle, ellipse, whatever you want to call it. Then towards the center, let's move it to the side, take the same color as the background. That way it feels like it's being cut. Shred this up. And uh, I think that is, that is pretty good. Okay, so all we need is our triangles, which we're going to use squares. Press shift to rotate in intervals of, I think it's 15, 30. Okay, so change the color to the teal blue. Move it towards the center. Off the center, actually. Just so we can mimic the real deal as much as possible. So this is gonna 
that's the lowest point so yeah lowest this point and let's make this bigger uh, it's moving too much to the left so that is going to have to be around here all right perfect let's duplicate this and move this a little bit that should be that should be good and then let's let's duplicate it yet again let's have them a little bit bigger and so right now I don't care if they are not exactly awesome Duplicate this on this side, and the back it doesn't matter match. Okay, let's see how that looks. Disable your grid, and this is what we have. Save, yes. You can save. You can import into Blender um, PSD files from Photoshop, anything like that. So open. Click on your Moon UV, excellent. Let's see how that looks. It's not showing up yet because we haven't assigned it. So we need to go into our material. The red one is the one that we're using. Click color, uh, image texture, and then pick your texture. Great, this is awesome. I think this is the best one that I have gotten so far yeah even if we have um something like this yeah that is the best that i've gotten so far and it looks good awesome and that is it pretty much no distortion awesome on the top or on the sides and there we go how we have our pokeball and thank you guys for for watching I'm about to render this so we can have our thumbnail thank you for watching and look out for the other one thanks